Hello, my name is Johannes Dizoglu and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create a hierarchy chart. I'm going to create a new Word document, a blank wall. Then I'm going to go to page layout, select from for orientation the landscape option. Then I'm going to select insert tab, insert tab select smart art, select hierarchy. And then I'm going to select the hierarchy option. Click OK. The hierarchy option is displayed. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to increase the size of my hierarchy chart. Click and drag it. Here I've got the default text boxes. I'm going to select the first row. I'm going to select type principle. The example I'm going to use here is for a college the Make Believe College. So then, below the principle, we have Vice Principle uh, for, let's put hyphen there. Uh, this Vice Principle will be for Corporate Services. We're also going to have another principle here. Again, Vice principle and this time this principle will be for an academic principle what you will be able to do is increase the size of the boxes if you go to the home page you will be able to reduce the text size customize your text make it smaller make it bigger in this case I'm going to leave it as it was 23. You can change the text color to any color you like. Again, in this case, I'm going to leave it as default. And then we can move on to the section below. So you can actually select the text box or you, from here, or you can select the text box from here. So here I'm going to type uh, head of quality. Now the head of quality will be under the vice principle for academic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that and place it here. As you can see, you can copy and paste uh, boxes, sections. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this text here. And the text that can go there will be head of finance plus also it's going to be head of admin services now I would like to add some more so what I'm going to do I'm going to press the enter key on my keyboard if the mouse cursor is there, it's just going to accept that as a normal enter. If I go on my actual section, on the type your text here section, and select straight after the word services and press the enter key, it's going to generate a new box for me. And now I'm going to type HR Supervisor. Supervisor. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to add one more box here. I'm going to press the Enter key. And I'm going to type uh, Head of Student yeah, Services. Okay. Must it up here. So I'm going to go to Undo. of student services All right I'm gonna go now back to my uh, vice principal for academic 
by selecting the box, I will be able to locate where I'm up to. As you can see here, I've got the vice principal uh, for the academic and vice principal for corporate services. So straight after the head of quality, I'm going to press the enter key to add a new box. And I'm going to type uh, head of IT and business department. So I'm going to put it like that, TPT. Again, like I said before, we can increase the size. As we increase the size, the rest of the information will go smaller. Now, if you want to add uh, a section below uh, this section now, so say for instance below the head of IT, a business department, I would like to put course leader business. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click here, Sorry, I'm going to add another box here, and this case, in this case I'm going to right click on the new box I've added, I'm going to select Demote. Straight away now, below the head of IT and business department, I've got another box. I'm going to type now Course Leader Business. And again, if I would like to have another box below that, I'm going to place my mouse cursor next to the la last word and then I'm going to press the enter key on my keyboard then right click and select the mode and that's how you actually create in more uh, options so I'm going to type here now uh, business uh, teachers etc Then once you're happy with that, what you could do if somebody uh, is supposed to be further up or further down, what you could do, you could actually uh, select the option. You can right click and you can select promote. This will bring uh, this section back to next to the, the side. So then you can actually promote it even more and place it there. You can promote it even more. Oops looking for the teachers we're going to promote them a bit more now and then we can promote it even more and then we'll put them next to the uh, principal obviously we don't want this to happen so what we can do is right click and select the mode a couple times the mode the mode and the mode again I'll have the teachers uh, back into the location that we're supposed to be Uh, once you finish the hierarchy, you can close this option. Again, if accidentally you closed it, you can bring it back up by selecting these arrows. By double-clicking on the border, you will automatically uh, be redirect to the design tab, where you will be able to select some colors or some different styles. If you would like to change the styles back, uh, set the, the hierarchy uh, structure back to uh, the origin, its original uh, layout, which is that one here, you can select here Reset Graphic. And this is how you're creating a hierarchy chart in Microsoft Word 2007. Hope you've learned something new today. I'll see you in the next tutorial.